is happening between the United States and Iran? Is there a threat of war? Well, let me start with answering the second question first. I personally doubt whether President Trump will start a war because he knows very well that a, such a war would spoil his chances of re-election. But having said that, we cannot rule out the possibility of a war because uh, wars can be can occur even when either side doesn't want it. Take the First World War. The Austro-Hungarian Empire did not expect Russia to respond militarily when it decided to humiliate and attack Serbia. Similarly, the military leadership in Berlin did not expect the United Kingdom to respond militarily when Germany violated Belgian neutrality. So, errors of judgment can lead to war. In this context, a person like John Bolton seems to think that a series of bombings will make Iran rush to the negotiating table and say uncle and sign on the dotted line. But uh, I'm afraid that he is wrong because Iran can retaliate in many ways. It has its proxies, the Hamas in Gaza. Hezbollah in Lebanon and a certain armed Shia groups in Iraq. Remember there was a, an attack uh, near the US Embassy in Iraq. Now, the first important thing to realize in this matter is that President Trump made a fundamental mistake in walking out of the Iran deal. It is true that as candidate he had promised to his core group that he would do that. But as president he had the obligation to ask his National Security Council to go into the question and to find out whether it was in US national interest to walk out of the deal. Don't forget this deal did prevent Iran from making a bomb for the next 15 years. It would have injected Iran into the international community. And for the United States to walk out of a deal signed by its president, when a new president comes, no, this does not mean that the United States believe in a rule based international order. So, President Trump has made a big error of judgment. But, uh, you know, the problem is that the rest of the world cannot stand up to President Trump. Look at the Europeans. They have miserably failed to stand up to Washington. And uh, that is the real problem. In other words, there is a unipolarity in the financial and trade, international financial and trade exchanges. This unipolarity has to be dismantled.